An Islamic cleric has admonished the president, Paula Ahmed Chinumbu administration, to take a drastic economic action that will have a positive impact on the citizens who are currently going through a hard economic downturn. Chairman Muslim Community Badagri Division Legal State, Dr. Abdul Qadri, or Ladamullah Muidin, who made a call appeal for urgent intervention that will caution the effect of the current economic hardship occasioned by the removal of subsidy. The Islamic scholar will also appeal to the citizenry to give the present government some time to adjust its policies, noted that there will certainly be light at the end of the tunnel. On his path, Saraki Adini of Koroboji Central Mox Agbara Ogo State, Honorable Abdul Latif Laka Ari Babuo, warned against the move to wage war against the neighboring country, Niger Republic, following the ouster of his democratically elected president. The legal practitioner maintained that Nigerians should respect the foreign policy of the country and put into consideration the consequences of the proposed attack on Niger. There is no sweat without sweat. What we are facing today is a sweat. And I believe that tomorrow we will always enjoy the sweetness of this country. Because looking at it critically, the government cannot be that callous to the extent that they will allow the populace to be suffering. So what I believe is currently going on is what we call economic transformation. And in economic transformation, many must go down. So that is what we are, that is what we are facing today. So I want to believe that everything will, will become better. The issue of the economic crunch, the petrol increase, has a lot of negative effects on the people of Nigeria. Um, the, there's an increase in transport fare, food and all that. So we appeal to government to please, to please for God's sake, to, to bring succor on Nigerians. People are crying, people are dying silently. Nigerian foreign policy should be strictly adhered to. Our internal problem should be resolved before we we'll go into the external problem. Niger is a country, they are our neighbors, we are the big brother of Africa, but that does not indicate that we should leave our own issue and go there and accept we are deceiving ourselves. Nigeria is so complex that the thinking of an average northerner is different from the thinking of a southerner. There is no way you can wage any war with a country like Niger that would not affect at least five, uh, five states in the federation. Shokoto, Kebi, Kastina, even Bronu, it's going to affect them. And once this is happening, it is going to be another problem for the federal government to tackle.